I'm back in the office. Working some more, getting this office ready. Oh, I love my waterway over there. Okay, I had pasta for lunch. <laughs> Why? Um, gluten! This is my cry to the universe. Gluten, why? I know it's not really probably gluten, but just processed foods. But I always get ill. So anyway, this is all the information you came here to hear. But I had to take, I, I, I will take the, like, gas eggs, right? Because the it tends to be gluten-y stuff, like processed wheat products. Um, so I try to avoid them. I'm so bad at avoiding them, though. And then... So I take, I'll, I'll chew up those little gas X, uh, chewables to help like cut the whatever's happening down in my stomach. And then like just to top it off, I ate too much brownie brittle. I mean, who knew that was even a thing? Like there should be a warning on it that says, warning, too much brownie brittle is not good for you. I'm gonna sue. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let me get my water. Bucky's cup. Okay, I'm gonna shut the door. So I've been enjoying, I mean, it's kind of motivating to me to come in here and like work and talk to you and just shoot the breeze, man. But I thought this is what made me want to come on because I have one cardboard. I freaking hate cardboard with a passion, except for these little cuties. You know what this is. Come on, gas X, do your thing. I know better, but I like... I can't help it. I can't help it. And then when I do go without it, I feel so much better. And like the inflammation in my body is like, it causes so much inflammation. Ooh, I got a text. But I have boxes upon boxes. Yeah. Because I had these, I believe I had them in totes back at home. But these plastic, let me show you. These plastic totes, they were so heavy that I, um, Needed to put them into smaller boxes. <sighs> but now, here we are. And they're going into these totes so I can put them in the closet. See, it's still sealed. And ready for you. This is where I need y'all to cheer me on. Go, Margaret, go. Go, Margaret, go. So that I can get this office ready and open up some boxes for you and me and <laughs> play with jewelry. Because doesn't that always make us happy? Makes me happy. But then it comes to, I've got to sell it and like work. So, it's all part of the process. And this is part of the process of like getting back into what I enjoy and kind of like taking it down, ease it back in. Um, what else is over there? I bought this new, because I, I don't know if, well, you probably don't know this. When I moved here, um, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff, which I was glad to. It was kind of like cathartic, getting rid of like all of these. But some of it was furniture and I had built-in bookshelves at my house, bookshelves and cabinets. I'm doing like this. Okay, so you can relate. Because I know if, I'm, if I do like this, this happens. But if I go like this, it's a lot harder for that to happen. But that. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I know you see me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> where was I? So I have these shelves. Shelves. And cupboards and stuff. Lots of storage. I'll say lots of storage. Anyway, but here... Um, I had, you know, I had to get rid of other things as well, like shelving and I had like a secretary that was really cool that I got. I can't remember where I got that, but it wasn't like an heirloom piece or anything. And so coming here, replacing stuff, I forget where I was going with this. Oh yeah. Cause I have all of this, these like knickknacks and stuff. And like some of it, it's like, I don't even know that I want to display it right now, but I don't want to get rid of it. So my first thought was I was going to take one of these totes and fill it because I have some stuff that was my grandmother's that I had displayed in my office, some other stuff other than this stuff. And some of what I am displaying out there and some, I think I'm just going to wrap it up in bubble wrap in the tote and put it in the 
basement, the like unfinished area, no boxes. I can't handle the cardboard. I can't. So these totes are like a, a godsend. And just put them up for right now, maybe one or two totes, because I just don't want to have so much stuff. That's too much stuff. Um, and then when I'm ready, when, or when we move into a home, 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 then I'll find a spot for them. <laughs> have you seen, this is bad, y'all. This is bad. Okay, but somebody was like, I hope you haven't lost your sense of humor. No. Have y'all seen the little girl with the wig and she's like, bitty, 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 bumba. And the guy's doing the voiceover, bitty, 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 bitty. And that's what I was saying, like, bitty, 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 bumba. Bitty, bitty, bitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put a little jiggle in your wiggle. I can't help it. Okay. That's not going to fit. But, oh, I need another tote. Because I've got some of these square size boxes too. I haven't ordered from Goodwill Blue Box. These are all Goodwill Blue Boxes, by the way. Um, Goodwill Blue Boxes in a while, but I think their prices have gone up quite a bit. So I'm glad I kind <laughs> of went overboard buying them. Because I did, I would buy a bunch. And then just, because sometimes you could get them and sometimes you couldn't get them. So when I had the opportunity, I would get them. And if I had like the money to do it, and then I would put them up because I'm like, well, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need them. Like unopened. There could be like the Hope Diamond in there. No. Or it could be just garbage. Anyway, mm, see? Cool. I'm gonna get these boxes out of here and start getting things set up. This one is full, so I'm gonna go get another tote. Bear back. Okay, I got another tote. Mm. Water is very dry. Very dry here. But I'm adjusting, I think. My car, oh, this is very heavy now. My car is currently getting its windows tinted. I think I might have shared this already that I was getting this done. If I get this lid down. Trouble, oh, trouble, can't you see? That's a song. Um, well, we're gonna have to make it work or not. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Maybe I need to turn it. Tetris that mother. Um, so yeah, I took my, I took my car today and got an Uber back home because the sun is different here. I'm like 6,000 something feet closer to it. And it tries to cook me for lunch every day when I'm out and about because my car windows are slightly tinted, but they're really not enough. Is this gonna work? Let's see how we do. Ready, come with me. Look, there's my silver play button. The place of honor in the closet for the moment. Uh, I'm trying, my brains are saying it's gonna go over here. And then it'll go over there. Only there's my, my screen's in the way. I'll make it work. Got it. There it is, it's in there. Okay, now, for another one. I have a big tote down in the basement of kind of like just loose jewelry. I think some of it's already stuff that I've gone through. So much, so much jewelry. I could list every day for the rest of my life probably and never run out of jewelry to list. <laughs> so much. But, here we are. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, bump, bump, bump. Oh, get back, jelly belly. I'm gonna sing for you now. Oh, that's a Bill Cosby song. Maybe I shouldn't sing that. That's when he was on Electric Company. When Bill Cosby was on Electric Company, he sang a song called Jelly Belly. Uh, it was on the, the uh, Electric Company soundtrack album. That's all I know. Anyway, now for this stuff over here. We could open this box. What do you say? I have a tote here and I have a box. This box is office. Oh, 
Please don't be anything that's going to make me cry. No guarantees, though. Office. Because last one of the, some of the other office boxes were like, there's a pillow in here. I'm like, that wasn't in my office. That's good. Luckily, this one doesn't smell. Luckily. Here we go. Got this. this is motivating for me, you guys. Oh, packing supplies. We're going downstairs. Because I'm gonna have my shipping area downstairs. I was wondering where all my packing supplies went. I knew I got rid of some because I had way too much. That's not all packing supplies. What's that over there? What is that? I think it's my son's boxing gloves. No, it's shoes. What else is in here? Penguin pushing my pipe. A pipe. It's my corn cob pipe. Thank you very much. <laughs> my corn cob pipe. It was actually um, in some of my grandmother's stuff, but I kept it because I have my reasons. I didn't just randomly keep a corn cob pipe. But <laughs> I had a student one year when I was teaching, and he's. <laughs> this was in first grade. First grade, yeah. First grade. Never forget. His name is Jacoby. Jacoby. Hang on, let me. I'm trying to get this right. I had to save it for Jacoby. Because Jacoby said, he, you know, in the morning we would greet them as they were coming in the door. He was a really interesting kid. And he stopped me and he goes, Miss Collier, when are you going to start smoking a, a corn cob pipe? I was like, what? Why would I start smoking a corn cob pipe, Jacoby? He goes, because when you get to be an old lady, you got to smoke a corn cob pipe. <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that day, Jacoby. Hasn't happened yet, but it's coming. I'm gonna light that up one day. Corn cob pipe. What else is in here? Now I'm wondering. <gasps> My little drawers. What about you? My little wooden drawers. I love little wooden drawers. I have some in my room, and I just got another one at a garage sale. It looks like a looks like a log with some remote that I don't know what it goes to. Okay, hang on. Let me see what else. Anything else of interest in here besides my corn cob pipe <laughs> that needs a place of honor? Shoes, shoes, a penguin, a car, another penguin. Anything that you might want to see? I don't know. It's just like a penguin. Pushing. Pushing's always cute. Just random stuff. Alerts, shipping supplies. That's it. Okay. Well, let's get to go to the basement and get unloaded there because I have a shelf down there I'm putting my shipping supplies on. Oh, I need these boxes out of here though. I cannot. Ew, boxes and grips. Cardboard grosses me out. I'm always thinking about all the creepy crawlies that are that are in there. All right, last thing, last thing. I feel like it's a quick video, but probably it isn't. Oh, this is like house stuff. I have a lot of aprons. Why I have so many aprons and only one body is beyond me. I'll tell you why. Wait, I'm gonna bump you up. I'll tell you exactly why. Because my mom keeps making me aprons. Not all of them are ones my mom made. Ah, oh, you fell. Ah, oh, you okay? There you are. This is a messy video. But it's made with love. There. Okay. Yeah. So my when I was teaching, um, you know, I taught elementary school, fourth grade, and slowly worked my way down to kindergarten. I taught third and fourth grade six years. Then I went to first grade, which was a huge leap. First grade was probably the hardest grade I taught because it's just like you had to take them so far they come in from kindergarten and then they have to have like I think it's like one of the biggest years of growth that is expected and it seems like it's just first grade not of these days whoo mama anyway 
So first grade I taught six years. Third, was it six years? Because I taught second grade. And I taught for 15 years. Third and fourth grade for <laughs> six years. Maybe it was four years in first grade. Two years in, I taught at least two years in second grade and then two years in kindergarten. Is that right? Can I math? 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then one year, my first year, I was, um, my first year teaching, I was like, they, the school librarian at this school left mid-year. And so I went in, because I needed a job, I graduated in December. And I went in, and it wasn't like, it was in Texas City. I'll just... Well, technically Hitchcock. It was in Hitchcock, which if you know, it's like Texas City on the backwoods. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, Hitchcock people. So, but anyway, my mom made me these aprons because when I was, I didn't sit down a lot and I would like have all my stuff in my pockets on my aprons. My mom made me this one. She made this one, but that was for later. This is an apron. I didn't wear this one when I was teaching. But I had a couple other aprons that my mom made me like this. They were just fun aprons because I would have like tickets because I give the kids tickets for stuff, you know, to earn prizes and whatnot. And then my mom made me this one because I like the halfway aprons, but I like it with pockets. And so this is like a waist apron and I have a pushing apron that we got. We used to do a pushing blind box. This is one I've had forever too. Probably should get rid of some of my aprons. This is my favorite apron. I bet you can tell because it's probably all dirty. <laughs> this is my skeleton apron. We're having an apron show and tell. Then I have a Stubbs barbecue apron. Mm -hmm. And then I, I bought myself this one, I think. Did I? Maybe my, oh, maybe I think I bought this one. This is another halfway apron with pockets. I just love the yellow and the lemons. But now what do I do with all these, these aprons? I got a lot of aprons. I got my koozie, my nacho koozie. Oh, and I got my do my dolly. I love dolly. She says, fuck around and find out. Ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. Oh, dolly. Yeah, fun times. Got my Igly coolers, my Simpsons Igly coolers. I got those for the kids. And just random stuff. What else is in here? <sighs> my <laughs> this is my my gr my grill my, not a grill it's a cooktop isn't it this is my cooktop right my butane cooktop is it not does smell why does that smell funny oh. the, well, it didn't get in there did it i don't know that's weird anyway because i was i used to do a lot of canning and you can't do canning um, on a glass top stove, generally, because the heat fluctuates on a glass top stove. And I didn't know this. And one of the houses I moved into had a glass top stove. <sighs> it was very disappointing because when you're making jams and jellies and stuff, you have to have a consistent temperature for a certain length of time to make sure that you're not going to poison people you know, when they eat the tasty, tasty delights of things that you've made. So I had to get one of those so I could still do my canning, but then it came in handy. But now I'm like, I haven't used it in a million years. This is the thing. I'm like, I have so much stuff. Like I haven't used this in forever. I haven't used this in forever. I have this, I have this, I have this. And then what am I doing? I'm moving it from house to house, now state to state. And for what reason? It's time to take a big look at everything and stop having that mentality of what if. But what if, what if the power goes out and I need to cook a can of beans? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, yeah, the rest of the stuff in this tote is all just like random 
stuff that I need to put away. Kitchen stuff and cat litter. Random. All the random things. So that's what I'm going to go do. I posted on Instagram today, if you follow me there. If not, <sighs> there's a song by um, Coldplay called Fix You, if you haven't heard it. It's very heartfelt and it's just like all of these different scenarios where you're just trying to like have a happier life and things happen and and just spreading love, just love. Sending love, that's all. Just wanted to let you know uh, if you wanted to go listen to that song that my heart is singing that for you today. So big love to you and if you're having a hard day or a hard time, or if this is a, a space in your life where things are challenging in one way or the other, uh, you're not alone. I just want you to know that. And you'll get through this. Just follow your heart and do what, do what your heart tells you is, is right for you and the situation. And as long as you're moving with love and kindness and respect for yourself and for others, then, then you'll see your way out of it, you know? So I send you all my love. Have a really good evening, day, afternoon, whenever you watch this.